this is part two of Hyrule Castle. And in this part, we're, uh, we're going to get the compass for the dungeon, and we're actually finally going to get inside the castle proper. Uh-huh. Which, then when we get in there, man, like, well, I'll talk about it when we get there. Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> we jump, have, jump, I'll jump ahead a little bit. Yeah, we still have a little bit to do in the courtyard, and yeah. actually we're going to hit a pretty creepy area here yeah. right now. Well, I mean, the graveyard's always supposed to be creepy, but yeah, I mean, like, the enemies change, yeah. which, like, obviously adds to the effect. But yeah, like, I mean, the courtyard, it seems really peaceful and yeah. like, at the rain. And then you get here, it's amazing just what a little bit of change of scenery will do to the feeling of the place. Yep, and you get these skeletons coming out from uh, from underneath the ground on you. It reminds me of uh -huh. like uh, being in Hyrule Field in Ocarina of Time at nighttime. Yeah. Now, I didn't try this, so I don't know if you can do this or not, but um, I don't know if you can read those other graves. I know you could read those two the right there. Two that but I don't know if you can just go around and read all of them. And if you couldn't... <laughs> Oh yeah, did uh, well, was that my first bomb arrow right that, there? That was a point blank <laughs> bomb arrow right there. I love my demonstration of how you use bomb arrows in this part. <laughs> <laughs> Just get as close. Hey, I got them too. That's all that I matters. Mean, I mean, hey, he died. I totally forgot that I did that, and you were just sitting there thinking about it the whole oh. time. Like I can't wait till it comes. Oh yeah, that was that was priceless. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying I'm sitting here not do the exact same thing. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I still have to get a laugh out of that. Hey, but. you know, I had enough hearts by that time. <laughs> Me and 20 hearts is like the most dangerous thing in any Zelda games. I'm like, oh, forget it. I can do whatever I want. You can take some damage. Yeah, you'll be fine. Well, I was saying about Reno's Grays, if you could, you know, or couldn't, I wish they had some of like the characters from past Zeldas because Twilight Princess, I think, falls pretty far down in that it little is. timeline, which I don't know which one that is. Oh, shoot. Child. I, I think you. it's a child, but it looks like an adult, so who knows? I mean, just adding to that creepiness factor we talked about, though, like when you went to the Wolf Sense. And it's just ghosts around that yeah, tree uh -huh. there. I mean, yeah, again, yeah, I know we're in a graveyard, but still, it was just a very, uh, yeah, atmospheric, I guess. I like it because it's so different from the yeah. other side. Like, you know, it's just kind of like, you know, why, I guess. I guess that's where you got to bury your knights somewhere, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's true, that's true. I don't know if I would want to ride outside the castle, you know. No, probably not. Especially that many. Like, it feels like one or two graves. You know, I'd be like, okay, maybe part of the royal family, blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, that's a pretty big graveyard. It is. I feel bad for whoever has to come and mow it when these yeah. guys start popping out of the ground yeah. after you. If we had money, we could probably get burial plots there. I bet we could. <laughs> we don't have money, <laughs> no, 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 we don't. That's why we're indoors talking about Zelda. And not we only have 977 <laughs> rupees. <laughs> we are broke. <laughs> now, here's what I don't understand. Like, we just lit that lantern, and like it made the rain stop? Yeah. But then, like, here, in a little while, I swear to God, the rain starts up again for some weird reason. Like, there, right now. There, yeah. <laughs> like, so, like, apparently light and lanterns has an effect on the rain in this area. Well, what I don't is, like, why would, yeah, why does that work? Like, in other games, at least you have, like, the Song of Storms, uh -huh. something like that. You know, like, I think Majora's Mask and, uh, obviously, Ocarina of Time both had a, a Song of Storms. Yeah, they did. They both did. So you're like... How does doing a lantern help? Yeah. And then you as think, soon as you get the door open, it starts yeah. raining again. Well, you think if the rain saw fired, they would want to keep going. You yeah. Know? I mean, that makes perfect sense to me. Put out the fire! I guess, nature, the fire. I guess nature's not as smart as we are. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> well, if I was nature and I was ready, I'd be like, well, I better stick around and check out this situation. Yeah. Okay, we, maybe I need to put that fire out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I will say, like, I kind of hit on this at the very end of, of the first part, how... We get to go back and redo some of the puzzles. That was a good bomb arrow. That was a much better bomb arrow. You learned your lesson. <laughs> yeah. Your skills are improving. But, uh, like I talked in the first part, like how we brought back the boomerang puzzle. Uh -huh. And now we're bringing back the Dominion Rod. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I just really like how in, instead of just recycling old areas, they just yeah. recycle, like, the old puzzles. Yeah. They bring back the puzzles. I was a big Kinda fan We didn't use the Dominion Rod. Like, I mean, we got kind of late, but we really didn't yeah. use it that much throughout the game. So, I mean, it kind of was nice to them bring back, like, a random weapon that we didn't use much of throughout the game. For sure. And we'll actually get that a little bit later again when we get on the spinner. And I about lose oh, the happiness yeah. when oh, that yeah. happens. Let's not jump again. Let's, let's, let's leave that for the spinner time. That's a long way away. Because, yeah, you, Red and I both feel very, uh, very strongly about that spinner. Very strongly in the best way possible. <laughs> yes, yes. We love that thing. But if yeah. the whole game would just been spinning around like walls and stuff, I've been okay with that. That would have been a very fun game. Yeah. <laughs> Roller Coaster Zelda or something like that. I, I would have paid 50 bucks just for the fight with, uh, with Star Lord, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, maybe, maybe not that excessive. It's just make it like a new uh, remake of Twilight Princess. And then we get to the uh, Star Lords, like, please deposit fifty dollars into your uh, Nintendo account. Damn. And I'd be like, yeah, uh, sold, guys. <laughs> you guys got me. You guys got me. These guys are good. <laughs> but I think uh, now that we've got that second key, we've got a key from both sides. Uh -huh. I think we're about ready to make our way back into the. What is, what is the first key? Um, what is the first key open? 
Did so we I'm use the sure. first key? I think we used the first key somewhere. I'm not sure actually either. Did we use it outside or not? Well, I figure like we probably have to use one of them on the front door, don't we? Yeah, we definitely yeah we definitely use one of them on the front door. And like just something random right here. I love this diagonal view. It's just something that they don't do a lot of in Zelda. It's usually straight on. I just absolutely love that diagonal view of us climbing up the ladder right You're there. You're right. It normally is a, a straight on view, and this like gives you a, a, a like it gives you a little bit of a view up at the uh, yeah, up, rest uh -huh, of the tower. Uh -huh. You get a little patch of sky up there. And yeah, start raining on us again. I would think there. somewhere down the courtyard we need a key to get in one of the doors. Is what I'm thinking. Probably. Actually, no. We have two keys right now. Yeah, we've got two. I, yeah. I mean, obviously, like I said, I think one of them opens the front door. But Yeah, Red, I don't know if you know, but while they're commentating, you can actually look at the screen and oh. see what's going on. I just, after 200 something commentaries, I just finally figured it out myself. Actually, I'm usually looking at my beer and seeing if I can <laughs> yeah. it. Um, how much beer do I screw the Screw the items. How much beer do I yeah. have left? <laughs> well, plus, I mean, so many times we go so off topic. <laughs> yeah. like, hey, what's happening on the screen? What, what are we doing again? Oh, Hyrule Castle, that's right. <laughs> God, I love this epic feeling, like front, like yes. entryway yes. to this dungeon or not? Yeah, castle. It was called what it is. It's How many castle. cigars can we sit out there and smoke? Oh, uh, quite a bit. But yeah, like that, that entrance right there <laughs> is just so epic, and you had like the pillars and just yep. it was so grand. I'm with you. I absolutely love that. We would have never got to Ganon, and we just stop right there and smoke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is true. <laughs> like you can have it, Ganon. Yeah, as long as they get front porch. That's I'm all I sit on this Triforce of Courage right now. Just, yeah. yeah. It's a good answer right there. <laughs> you know, I got the, oh, we don't have the ocarina. If we had the ocarina, and it's Majora's Mask play the Song of Time, like, I, what I'm trying to say is we can just sit there and smoke so forever and just go back in time and take care of our situations. <laughs> we'll deal with our problems later. Yeah. Well, <laughs> tell us Song of Time, we'll come back again. Yep. Now, I, you kind of mentioned this before we got started, the theme that oh, the theme. in now. Oh, yes. It's so... I mean, it's kind of been the same thing that we've seen throughout a lot of Zelda games. Yeah. But this one just had more of an ominous feel to it. And I just, it's definitely by far my favorite Hyrule Castle theme. Yep. But you take that and you mix it with, like, when this big central room, just the lights came up on it and everything. Yes. Uh -huh. And you saw the chandeliers. Uh -huh. Now, this is what a castle yeah. should look like. And, like, those steps right there, they don't look like they ever led to that ledge right there. No. But, like, the <laughs> physics of that do not come together whatsoever. Maybe they, like, double back on themselves. So, something. like, did everybody in the royal family have, like, a hook yeah. shot to get to the next level? Maybe. Maybe. be a pretty cool family. That would but be pretty awesome. I'll take family. that family. I would love to marry into that I family. I would say, I would be friends with that family. <laughs> But no, yeah, like th those stairs literally lead absolutely yeah. nowhere. As you see, like in uh, this part and the next part, that theme keeps on changing. Yeah. Kind of, I think it did it that way in Ocarina, maybe a little bit. It keeps on changing closer and closer. You get the yeah. game, and it turns more to like a, a bad sounding theme, yeah. I guess you could say. I think in Ocarina, it just got louder and louder as you climb the tower. That could be true. That could be but true. This Whereas one, this one changed. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, just like, just a great feeling. Yeah, the theme is just amazing yeah. here. It's probably a. I think I recently did my top 10 dungeon themes. I think this didn't make it in the top five. For good reason. Yes. Now, I loved going I back know. and refighting oh. this guy from uh, the Temple of Time, I believe, was the dungeon. He was a mini boss. I'm glad you liked him. You had to do it. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, we do a heck of a lot better this time around than we did the uh -huh, first time. Uh -huh. We like, I just kind of learned how to, like, you got to kind of bring him in close to you. Yeah. And then use your, like, shield attack. And then. Yeah. Like he's kind of vulnerable during that time. Yeah, and you see that quick stab attack. Yeah, and start peeling off. Your the hidden skills actually don't work very good on him. No, I remember trying that uh, at either the skull crusher or the backspin attack uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, in Temple of Time, and they were like ineffective. Yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah, you gotta kind of like, like I said, use a shield, uh, shield bash. bash yeah, yeah, shield bash, and then he'll be vulnerable for a little while. Now this sword right here, nails me, dude. Oh, oh, oh. You cannot get him hit any more squarely than that right there. Uh, the bane of dark nuts come back to you <laughs> once again. Dude, they've been like, oh, ever since um, Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Which I actually played like last as one of the last games, but then yeah, oh just oh it's not God. as bad as those. Although if there are oh, five no. of them stalking you in this room, they'd be just no, bad. no, nothing can be that bad as the original Legend of Zelda and five dark nuts, blue dark nuts. Oh, that was miserable. Oh yeah, but this, the concept has always stayed the same, where you really can't hit them from the front or the yeah. side. Well, actually, you could hit the ones in the original from the side, but like it's yeah. always a same, kind of same concept. You can't hit them from the front. Now, I will say at least uh, in that one, your your back spin, your like your side jump and then spin attack to the back, mm -hmm. at least like staggered him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you were able to uh, hit him a few times and get yeah, damage. Uh -huh. So even though that particular hidden skill didn't do the damage, it definitely uh, set him up for you. Yeah, to... set him up for an attack. Uh huh. Yeah. And man, this part right here, the first time, oh, I sit here forever <laughs> looking at these ledges. Like, I mean. How many times do you gotta actually take out the lantern to actually accomplish something? It's usually lighting a lantern. 
You know, I don't like Nintendo switching up like this sometimes. No, and actually, I'm pretty sure this took me an eternity to even figure this out yeah. the first time. And I, I just, yeah, it frustrated me to no end. And then plus, like, throwing the boomerang, then having to run onto yeah. the platform. Well, that's the thing. I remember the first time when I finally figured it out, and yeah. I turn around, and there's a ledge going up beside me, and I'm, like, it's still down on the floor. Yeah. Right and all that for a stupid uh, purple rupee. That so we got too many rupees throughout this game, which we complained about <laughs> the entire way. Just not a big enough wallet, really. Yep. We're just going to put uh, that purple rupee back in the chest, and that will wrap up part two of Hyrule Castle.